Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric and got a real exciting video for you guys. So as you can see here, I'm in autopilot. My hands are always on the steering wheel, just like Tesla recommends. So we are actually gonna follow this small blue SUV in front of us. So the light's red, so they almost come to a complete stop before the light turns green. Once the light turns green, I'm not required to stop. So I let the autopilot continue on through and it does a right turn into the correct lane. Now it should turn right into the most right lane. And then I have my turn signal turned on even though it just kind of runs out of room and it merges back over into this, but really impressive here. So let's look at that in slow-mo one more time. So as you can see here, I'm just giving a little bit of forceful nudges, even though I don't knock it out of autopilot until I see that it's going to turn right. And now it is bouncing back and forth like you've seen if you've watched any of my other videos, like my left hand turn or my right hand turn video, the double blue lines will bounce back and forth when it's trying to figure out what lane it should be in. And in this instance, in my opinion, it did, did choose the correct lane to turn into, um, even though this is a turn lane. Now I wanna preface this by saying, this does not happen in every intersection. So you can see here, we're making a left hand turn and it just says, right away, take over immediately. So I did get it to turn left, which I'll throw a card up here if you guys haven't seen that video. This current software version 2019.24.4 is not designed to make turns at an intersection, but at multiple intersections, I've tested many and I'm able to get it to make turns at intersections. And so when there's dashed lines following where the turn needs to go, like at this intersection here, we're gonna follow this silver van and it's going to say take over, but although I'm there, the autopilot never disengages and I just give a little bit of nudge and the autopilot's able to figure it out and say, okay, I'm gonna follow this dashed line here on the left-hand side and it's also identifying where that van is. You can see that by the dark gray car. Once this red steering wheel goes away, you're gonna see the autopilot kind of says, okay, I understand where I need to go. And you see the blue lines there taking us straight behind that van. And it does a left turn and is in the proper lane and everything. Really, really impressive. Like I said in the first part of the video, do not try this. This is not what Tesla Autopilot's designed for. And if you're gonna try it or gonna use autopilot, make sure you use it how Tesla recommends, always keeping your hands on the steering wheel and definitely use it at your own risk because not all intersections work currently on software versions. As you can see this one, it was gonna head straight ahead because there was no other dashed lines. Bigger intersections with dashed lines in the turn lane, in most cases are able to make the lane changes. Not in all cases, because again, it's not designed for this. But regardless, I think it's pretty cool and definitely we are on our way to all those great full self-driving features. If you want to connect with me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at A11electric. I hope to see you over there. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share this video with a friend. Thank you so much to everybody who's over on Patreon. All my patrons who are supporting me, thank you. I could not do this without you. Specifically, a huge shout out to our man of men and our grandma tool who are supporting me at the all electric level. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. When you see another Tesla on the road and you're engaged in autopilot, the proper way to wave to them is with two hands waving frantically when you see the other Tesla. <laughs> in my last video, I talked about how I installed these Nikola Pro vinyl handle covers and they match the paint. It even has the sparkle, that little flake that the pearl white paint has. These look phenomenal. They have all the colors over there of all the cars. I really like how clean this makes it versus the chrome handle that gets fingerprints all over it. So if you're looking for door handle covers, click the link down in the description to pick up a set of these. These are high quality. These are not some cheapo ones. These are very, very good quality ones. They also have a really, really easy to install center console wrap. Tons of different colors, textures, and all that. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that you watch this video in its entirety. I will catch you guys in the next one.